So, we are about to do a review of the album we just listened to that's called One by Katie Boy. Um, just killing some time yeah. before our show in Kalamazoo. We just were at a record store, and before that, we were just playing some of our tunes on the radio at Western Michigan Radio. But in the meantime, awesome. we, we did listen to this album. Um, I'll, I'll kick this off. I um, I thought it was pretty cool. I was pretty into it. Um, so, so I want to say that before, so this doesn't sound like an insult, but really my biggest thought from this album is like they should really play this at forever 21 because because it's like i just wanted to go shopping when i was listening to it. i was like i want to buy some sweet new clothes when i listened to this album it had nothing to the, the music was not about clothes it's just that that kick drum with the four on the floor the way it poked through i just wanted to get some sweet pants and some sweet shirts and and just like Forever 21 could really use this. I don't know why specifically Forever 21 comes to mind, but it just sounded like something that they should have on their soundtrack. It's really if interesting. Don't I get the same sense when I listen to Disclosure, like that two-step mm. house music. Like I feel like I should be shopping at like Express or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this one for me, uh, I don't think it made me too cynical, which is nice. But, um, it didn't really do much for me. Um, it was a little bit different than, again, this is one that you could probably really, really easily imagine hearing on Top 40 radio, but it wasn't, um, wasn't, like, really down the center. Uh, it wasn't that similar to a lot of the stuff I've heard. However, I will say that I do think it sounds pretty pretty similar to Charlie XCX. Um, just that like kind of late 80s gated drums, a little yeah. bit slower in temp like a little bit slower tempos, the but like the hard really hitting drums. Through, yeah. Um and her vocal delivery, like I think if I heard a song off this record and a song off the Charlie XCX record, I would have probably a pretty difficult time telling it apart, honestly. Mm -hmm. They both also have cool production that that sounds out of the box, but since they both have that kind of similar out of the box, there is, even though they're both kind of have an original thing, they cross over. Definitely. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, I would say that this music, while it doesn't yet make me cynical, um, <laughs> I do feel that Charlie XCX has blown up in popularity pretty recently and I could definitely see the record industry jumping onto that train and us seeing a lot more music very similar to this in the coming future so I so a possible future cynicism I could be cynical about the same type of music in a year's time but right now it gets a not so cynical pass from both of us yeah yeah, right. sure. I was going, a temporary one. I was going to give it a lukewarm 5 out of 10 because there was nothing bad about it, but it didn't really do much for me, except the bonus track had a nice I dug the bonus track syncopated a lot too. groove that I really liked, so that bumps it up to a 6 for me, definitely. The bonus track was great. Out of, so, out of 10 what? 6. No, I know, but like... Oh, out of 10 Charlie XCXs, because okay. <laughs> it sounds half similar to that. Yeah. Alright, 6 out of 10 Charlie XCXs. I think I would give it a 6.5 or 7. I could see... I could I could give it a 7 out of 10 Charlie XCXs. I thought... I was pretty into it. I liked it. I thought that, um... I, would, I wouldn't, like, put it on all the time, but I thought that it Maybe was... Maybe at a party. Yeah, at a party I'd definitely put it on. It was original, but it was cool, and I was definitely nodding along to it, and no part of me ever wanted to turn it off, so. That's, yeah, no that's, part of me was yeah. like, ah, can we, can we just put on something else? Yeah. So that's. Unlike, uh, our buddy. Steve Angelo. Steve, Steve Angelo, we're. <laughs> Sorry, man. two million Steve Angelo fans on Facebook. Oh yeah, so guess, guess the amount of fans we have for Katie Boy. I'd say less than two million. Mm-hmm. I'd say like 
four hundred thousand down. Mm -hmm. What was it? Twenty six thousand. Twenty six thousand. Yeah. Wow. So shows how much we know about music. <laughs> Don't listen to us. We know nothing. Now to play a show. <laughs>